Lacquer. Lacquer. <laughs> this toxin-free lavish nail polish was created by Faye Carson. Find out more about the product at Cozy Belly Nail Lacquer dot com, which is C O S E B E L L E Nail L A Q U E R dot com. Lacquer. Lacquer. <laughs> he had to say it. It was perfect how he did that. <laughs> But we're going to get into some entertainment news now. Um, in case you missed us coming in again, my name is Spunky this I'm year. DJ Cheech. And I'm Zaki Sweet. Know what I mean? So, I mean, I feel like there's, like, not a lot going on in entertainment right now. It's kind of quiet. Because it happens so fast. Once you scroll, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Once you scroll up from the page, it's done with. I mean, there's a few things going on. Didn't you say that there's some rapper coming at Drew? I don't right know now? how to say his name. I just learned I was saying his name wrong this, it, this whole it, time. X X X X Tentacion, I believe, what? is how his name is pronounced. Yeah, that is. That's it. I was calling yeah. this nigga Extension. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a 15 year old, and he put me on actually with him last weekend. Um, yeah, so that's how I know. You know, I had a little. Um, okay. A brief background. Background. Yeah, so I know about him. <laughs> I real life That's feel funny. like that. I real life feel like that old got a new damn kids in your rap music. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Whole time he's the youngest real. one at the table, the though. The youngest one. These Photoshop rappers. <laughs> Photoshop rappers. Yeah. He did this little. You saw Photoshop this picture. Rappers. He had a picture of uh, Drake's family, and and he um, photoshopped. The rapper XX yeah. whatever photoshopped his face over Drake's father's face, Stop it. and so it's like a baby <laughs> Drake is is it's the, the rapper. Yes, yes. Who and so he's trying to say he's trying to do you know, like date his mother jail. and all that kind of stuff. Who, who is this nigga? Know, B? He's whack. You know, you know who old. is this you nigga? B? Some, <laughs> meek, some Meek Mill some shit. Man. You know, what you know. Man. supposedly though he called Drake. Out and said that Drake was like using his flows and stuff like that, some of his words, and ended up in the end just ended up calling him a bitch um, at the end of it. And Drake responds by saying, Who the hell is this nigga? Because who is this who nigga? Is this nigga who, bitch? Is she? <laughs> <laughs> who, who is this nigga? nigga? <laughs> I don't know. I've never I, heard I of also, him. Also, in my, in my brief uh, background that I got last week. Um, discovered that he's also like the XXX is for the fact that he's gonna be a porn star, and I Niggas believe getting in the game I believe he now. said he has a video out now, but it's brief. But he's trying to be <laughs> he's trying to be like an You're active out 30 porn second star. Clips I blame in his Kim Kardashian time. for the shenanigans. Like you blame who? Kim Kardashian. No, I blame that whole cesspool of a family. Because. <laughs> Seriously, this is gonna be how you break into fame. Like yeah, that's you're gonna everybody come at Drake and then say, "Hey, I'm a rapper and wanna, a porn star. This is what I did." Kim K, you gotta put Pam Anderson out there. You gotta put uh, Britney Spears. Pam and wasn't Eve doing music. And Paris Hilton. Well, yeah, Paris wasn't well, doing. Well, well, you gotta, you gotta put all of them. Oh, Stevie J was a fucked up ass individual for that one. <laughs> <laughs> That that you know it's old when you see the VHS at the bottom, them numbers that just keep going and shit. The time date that shit said like yeah. eighty four. Nigga, so I also read today that TLC is gonna be dropping an album in June. Which I if they was if they if they do a, a, a album and a tour, would you go to the tour if they had if they didn't have a hologram or t uh, left? I would go if they didn't have a hologram. I'm not going if they do. I, I wow. don't like the idea of holograms. People are dead. Let them be dead. Like I why? Are we that. trying? That's I think so it's cool, creepy though. to me. Like so, we're just gonna have all these shows for these people that are dead now. Like so, they're just gonna be here. I don't want to say put on whole shows now. I think they would put on a whole. Something's telling me that they would put on a whole Michael Jackson concert. Haven't and they? Tour. Didn't they do that? They did that on the Billboard Awards or some award show. And they were trying to organize. Yeah, it's I'm like, it's so happen. weird. It's so like, you know, I get appearances. Like, all right, like when they did the easy appearance with the hologram and the Tupac. All right, Stuff I like that it. is fine. Song, but you don't know, have a whole an award show for a special yeah. occasion. One song. Yeah. One song. Like, don't make it a whole performance. Yeah, like, <laughs> we can't get wrapped into this hologram because then we're going to want it to be around forever. Like, no. It's just too much. Like, it's weird. It's creepy. But if you, if you saw one song where she came out and did Waterfalls verse. And then maybe poof, for she's that. Gone, like. Even I think that I wouldn't even <clears throat> want it for that because you had video footage of her Good point. performing yeah. that. But maybe if they had That's like right. 
they put songs together where they they included lost audio of her doing a rap or something, and then they brought her out. Okay, that. that'd be but cool. But even even the stuff where she was around, it's like a like, gimmick. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's yeah. a whack gimmick. TLC's put out this album because they did a, a GoFundMe. They did. Uh, they did. A, they Are did me two to almost two years ago. So June's gonna be like two years. So when the movie came out, um, right. And so they uh, right after that, and Damn. so like like right like the excitement right after the movie, they did a GoFundMe. People they they reached a the goal pretty quickly, and then fans was like, well, "Where's the album?" So all last year, the people that contributed was like. Where's the album? Where's the album? Where's the album? Was no worries about the so album. They just putting it out. And now, uh, yeah, so they gotta put it out because they 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 took money in for the They made for. a GoFundMe <laughs> for an album, yo. Yeah, because it was wow. like if y'all really want to see a new TLC album, then we need X amount yo. of money, and then they got it, and they got I'm the money sorry, quick. I, I'm glad wow. I wasn't. I, I wasn't think that's cool though, but I 90s. think they should put another. They need another mm-hmm. member. They should put like a new girl in there. Put a new girl but on. That's, what did they I have? They had know. like a whole show where they, they were looking. What show. happened with that? What you mean? They, they had, had a whole, whole, TLC, a whole TLC? reality yeah. show. Where yeah, they and that was before. That was before the, uh, the, the movie the, came, the movie so came what out. What ever happened? I feel like the Nothing. only person this that would have sufficiently just ki- gimmick, yeah. that would have sufficiently filled her spot is the girl um, from from Black. Yeah, that died, yes. but she she died. Yeah, yeah. she would have been good. She would have been the perfect fit. Yeah. She was her. She yeah, yeah. she would have been. She would have been about good. the one from um, from uh, Bring It On, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were gonna yeah, call. They were gonna call her Right Eye. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it too soon? Uh, is it too soon for that one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's too soon. Sorry. <laughs> that was funny though. Um, so apparently, right. well, not apparently. <laughs> Jay Z and Beyonce's anniversary was yesterday. Yay! It was cute because they went Crazy. to the Grand Canyon with their kid. It was like it was cute enough to talk about it. Like, oh, they took all the kids. They took who? What kids? The other kids too. What other kids? Oh so yeah, okay, all three children, right? Because they're in the <laughs> belly too. <laughs> they took themselves and all the kids. I forgot too. So yeah, Call I thought it was cute. <laughs> but shout out to them. It's been nine years. It's been nine years. It's been nine years since they've been to get married. Jesus. But they've been together yeah. longer than that. How this chick in the game wearing my chain? They've been together since like oh one. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Yep. The, the, yo, a long ass time. Shout out to them. Niggas and they don't just make it that long. Babies, though. They literally are the only ones that like are still going. All the couples that were running on. Yeah, pretty much. And they really I don't, don't see no Jay Z. I mean, they stay to themselves. I don't see that. They just do their luxury shit. They live a whole different level of luxury. That's a whole like, they, lifestyle. they put out HBO specials. Fuck yeah, the reality yeah, show. Yeah. You want to know what we do? Watch this HBO special. <laughs> we'll for give it. you a solid 45 <laughs> minutes. We give you a well produced show. <laughs> 45 and minutes. Shit. After that, get the fuck it on. Yeah. That's right. all you got. Y'all stay away until we ready to share real. some more shit. <laughs> they ain't on no Kardashian shit. Have you, do you guys know that Beyonce's mom has been doing like these funny little corny jokes on her Instagram daily? Like she tells oh, like a yeah, corny yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, so yeah. cute. <laughs> it, I, you just gotta follow. You should though. I followed her off the strength of these corny jokes because I thought it was super cute and I've been stealing some of them. Because so. <laughs> I like corny jokes. Love corny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so shout out to the Knowles and Carters for. She seemed like the corny the... grandmother that just got nonstop. Jokes. She seemed cool as shit, yo. I fucks with Tina. I always did. She's so Don't sweet. Girl. Girl. I want to try her Cajun the turkey that they always used to talk about. She's. They said her fucking Thanksgiving was popping. I'm gonna try that. I shit. believe it. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Southern cooking. I believe it. She looked yeah. like she could probably throw down, man. Yeah. She, she knows she like she, she knows how to make it. She'd be putting like <laughs> Creole Cajun voodoo powder uh, in, in food just to make you think you're eating something good. It's, it's really not good. Isn't it the same thing though? <laughs> it may not be good, but you think it's good, take, so it's take good. It's Creole. It's Creole Cajun. <laughs> Perception is reality. <laughs> What's the little lady from uh Princess in the Front, little voodoo lady? That's I don't her. know. I ain't I don't know. That's her, yo. Mama Odie. There you go, there Mama you go. Odie. Shout out to <laughs> Ashley over here on the couch. Hmm? <laughs> Tina knows. Tina knows. But um, so, I don't know if you guys heard about this. This is actually a little bit old. About a month ago, there was this uh, invitation floating around the internet for this sex party oh, in Atlanta yes. for this girl's birthday. I think she was turning 27. And, and it was this big, long... <laughs> like a Roman orgy party? Like yes. a big, long <laughs> in, invite that was, like, pretty detailed, but, like, 
pretty cool in terms of how she did. Like, Stop it. The way she was talking, it was like cool to read or whatever. But it was just like pretty much, hey, come have sex with people. You know, be liberated. Yeah, it's a free for all. I do want to be liberated. Huh? So apparently, though, she was charging niggas um, some kind of entry yeah. fee or something like that. So apparently, all together with plane tickets, people were spending like three, people four hundred. People were coming from all over the country to come to go to this party, and she didn't show up. <laughs> and not only did she not did show the party up, there was happen? a bunch of niggas there. Yeah, just niggas. Just a bunch of niggas there looking at each other like, well, what are we supposed to do? Big no ass. bitches and they came. All paid their money. No <laughs> bitches came. And she got the money, yo. She made She's away right. with the money. Y'all niggas dumb. See? That, that shit. goes to show you, it don't pay to, to pay play. for pussy. <laughs> no, nah, that shit is crazy though. She um, that was a come up and like on some other shit. Yeah, I, I would have never thought of no shit like that's that. That's some genius though. And she was making. Let me have like, a sex party. Charles she even did like a up. photo shoot and everything. Like a sexual <laughs> that's erotic. Funny. She did like erotic. Photo she had shoot. a sex party and she didn't come. <laughs> 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 She even went through the trouble of doing like an erotic photo shoot to put pictures on the invitation and everything. Like it was very elaborate, and then she just didn't come. Oh, she made back her money for the photo shoot. It was probably what twenty dollars. And then some, and then some, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys heard Diamond. I don't know if you heard this, but Bill's Co- Bill Cosby's sexual assault case, well, his trial is set to start in June. But I thought and he was And it's supposed acquitted. to be for two weeks. That was fake news. So it was alternative facts. We don't say fake news. Yeah, it's alternative facts. Come no, on. I think, I think one of the, I think one Some of them. Girls, I think one or, one or two of the cases that not didn't go to trial. Word. So right. He, so he was acquitted of a couple of. 54 women now? There's a lot of women. So it's just, There's a whole. Okay, one or two. Like, okay, okay so let's well. take down the 52. Yeah. <laughs> like. Nigga. Because we always had heated debates about this, you know. But I don't think. I kids 1.0. <laughs> I think. Uh, I, I know, know he did uh, it. He did it. I don't know. I think him and Sydney was having some fun times after them Uptown Saturday Night yeah, parties. And it, you, the thing but is... But then I also think after those commercials with the pudding, he went home to Camille. That does... Yeah, but, you know, Camille that doesn't mean that he... She <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> right. That doesn't mean he wasn't doing other shit before he went yeah. home or after, you know, whatever. I mean, I just... I don't know. Here's the know? thing. It's just like... My standpoint on it has always been this. I understand how this goes with young people looking to be mentored or naive and super ambitious, anxious girls trying yeah. to get in mm-hmm. the game. They're willing Y'all to. Heard his joke about it, right? Yeah, exactly. His joke? Yeah, he joked about it with the Quaaludes. Oh, wait, keep talking. I'll put something. Yeah, but it's like, you oh, know. Shit. <laughs> They are willing to put themselves in uncomfortable early, positions. Early, you know what I mean? They know that they're uncomfortable. <laughs> they know that this man could possibly take advantage of him, but they still put themselves in those positions to get ahead. For instance, the um, photographer Terry Richardson, he is known to be a pervert, and he is over the top with it. His like, vulgar. His like photographs reflect vulgar. He's ridiculous. He treats these bitches the crazy, does weird shit. Like, he made this one girl take out her tampon and like because he, he wanted to play with it, and he, like put it in his teeth, started his teeth with it. Did you see his pictures yeah, of the twins? Yeah, he's just crazy. He's crazy. Like the twins tongue kissing and what twins? Oh, the, the, the Claremont twins. The Claremont twins. Them, uh, them um, the two twins from I think they was on Bad Girls Club or something like I that. I didn't see or, that. He, yeah, he like yeah, they, 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 like, set, they was like kissing. They was like real butt tongue naked, kissing, tongue kissing, nipples and he, to nipples. And, yeah. That's and fucking crazy. That's disgusting. They said twins, twins, identical twins. Twin sisters. sisters. What the fuck? That's disturbing as hell. Yeah. So like so yeah, example of that like. <laughs> Young people, especially girls that would be willing to be on like a reality show, imagine they would be the same type of bitches that were getting in these predicaments with Bill Cosby back then. Yeah. These are the type of bitches that they just want to get on. They if just Bill Cosby was doing this shit nowadays, and then you got oh this dude, God. he's you know saying, "Hey, I can help you out. Just come by." Blah blah. blah. You go. You, you know you you think you might be okay. It's Bill Cosby, but <laughs> you wake up butt <laughs> naked in the bed, America's and you don't know what the fuck happened. Branded. You're like shit. Oh damn! This is the sweater man. He raped me. <laughs> but do you say that after or during? Like it happens all the time, though. It's just like it, it literally it runs rampant. Like sexual assault, in a, sense, in a sense, like rape and whatnot, runs rampant in the entertainment industry. Just for I those simple reasons, like Kesha was being raped by her her um, handler. 
Yeah, her handler, aka her true? manager. Yeah, I think so. No, yeah, it was I anywhere. Was she true. was in, she was in court and everything for it. Because oh. she's not yeah. the only person in the industry that has those type of people handlers. Like, yeah, that's yeah, real. Yeah, that's real stuff. That's real stuff. It's real that he that he was doing that to her. Yeah, mm. that was real. That was like that's why they is went that, to court about she, it. Like, couldn't get out of her contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, wouldn't like let her. What was his name? Doctor Doctor Something. Yeah, and she was like, she was going and talking to her fans and saying, like, this is what's happening to me, and they won't let me out of this contract. And, you know, they were fighting against the contract Mm -hmm. in court because of what he was doing to her, and they were like, nah. Same, I think the same thing was kind of similar, like, to Britney Spears a little bit, they said at a point in time. Essentially, she she was trying to, she was trying to break away from everything, and that's when her breakdown happened. You know, I don't trust they none make of them, them look people. crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. I don't want to get into conspiracy theories this time. We'll go back to that another <laughs> it's the episode. First show. We was about to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the Alice in Wonderland, right? Speaking there. Speaking of conspiracy theories, though, like before we completely abandon it, this is not quite a conspiracy theory because there's proven evidence of this. But have you guys heard of the um, situation with? I'm well, not even have you. I know you've heard of the situation with all the girls disappearing in like, mm-hmm. yes. the DC area and whatnot. Pizza cake. Exactly. So that's what I was gonna say. Like, why everyone's saying why is no one talking about this? Why, like, been talking why, about it for years. why is it so hard to believe that no one's talking about it? I think it's probably because most people don't know what PizzaGate is. Mm. Have you heard of that? No. Do you know what PizzaGate is? No. Oh, yes, PizzaGate. Yes, I do know. It is true. Pizzagate it's is true. It's somewhat. the same. It is true. like the pedophile Not plane. They found out that the pedophile plane was a real thing. Mm-hmm. It really is. It's, it's, it's really. There are pedophiles out there. There are pedophiles out there. Pizza gate in every city, but that particular restaurant is not where. You don't think yes, so? it is. No, no. Restaurant. He is literally linked. He's 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 listed on Forbes most powerful people in Washington D.C.'s list. His name is Jay Malafonte. He is. No, the one in D.C. D.C. Comet Pizza. That's where they sponsor mm-hmm. a lot of White House events. They sponsor a lot yeah. of government events. Yeah. They are That's very, very heavily affiliated. Right. right. But they are running, uh, they are very connected to a sex trafficking mm-hmm. ring. They supply children for allegedly. this shit. Not even allegedly. All of the information comes from the FBI. So when the WikiLeaks happened and all the emails came out, FBI was investigating it. They noticed that people were talking in code. And they started to decipher the code based on however they were digging. And they came up with how they were talking about young boys and girls and doing things to them. The big question... Well, they're all See, a part the of it. Yeah, like it's you're, all not gonna, politicians. you're not going to put the people Even, who cause yeah, the laws because the people in that, jail. No, I'm saying that they had a government turnover. If that's yeah. the case, there had been FBI Trump people. They, they were saying they were FBI was, agents was looking FBI into agents. it that wound up stepping down or stopping. Nobody got in trouble for the pedophile plane. Nobody really talked about that either. But it was a plane that. Bit like that, there's been documentation of Bill Clinton being on there, like, and it was mm. a plane for politicians to get on to travel the world wherever they would go, and it would be chock full of children mm-hmm. to have sex with. There's an That's island so that they were talking about. Remember that island? Yeah. They said they were gonna have kids there, and Donald Trump has been there. Donald there's Trump, a few was people. A there was a few people. That but named. then you start seeing the list, and there's people that you know. It's like not no, but like it's well, like. Well, he it really fucked this up that he saw Obama's name. Hey, and one of the emails. Bury but yo. Obama ordered. Bury they're yo. like, oh, Obama. Had twenty, like how much? I forgot. Like twenty. It was like uh, it was. It, was it wasn't like, a big. It was like That's two thousand. No, two thousand pizzas flown yeah. in or something like that. No, forty thousand dollars for, for, for pizzas. A, a rally or something at the White and House. They're like, yo. First of all, why would he have pizzas flown in? Secondly, <laughs> from right there, from DC. Right. Secondly, <laughs> they don't allow food to come into the White House. Any gotta, food they have yeah, that has to be made the there House. for the sake of contamination. Right. So that shit's bogus. And it, the day that's that how they started happened, to realize the it would have been messing like that's, like that a, doesn't add up. It was right. like a, uh, one of them field days that they have out there for the kids or something. Mm. Wow, it was like the Easter egg hunt or something. It's, really it's just crazy. weird. This is a lot of a lot of stepping stones that it's, it's like, like whoa. I highly <laughs> suggest that if you guys have never heard of Pizzagate, that you do just take a chance to educate yourself. Again, it's not quite a conspiracy theory because it's not like. The sources are random people or YouTube videos. You can find a YouTube video to give you the information, but the info comes from the FBI. Mm. Here's my problem with that. Okay. People have, you can go on the internet and see anybody talking about Tupac still alive. You can see them talking about 
Elvis was still alive. You can see them talking about uh, all different types of stuff. You know what I mean? The FBI killed Martin Luther King. The FBI, you know what I mean? So we can't really trust the FBI. I mean, we can't trust can't them, trust but that don't mean that we can't course. necessarily trust research that they've done. This is their research. I mean, it's still, even though we can't if trust them to be moral. Lock them up. Then, they're gonna lock, nobody's going to jail on this. Not they're going to lock up. They're gonna Ain't lock up like, John Podesta and Hillary Clinton and all these yes, people. Yeah, they, yes, because yes, if you if you look up the pedophile claim, would, all of these people they can't lock them up. It's Especially too many not. of them. We wouldn't That's have a Congress. Many. I see where she. I see where Spunky coming from. It's like too if they many. was a lock, if they was a lock up all these people that we saying that they should no, lock up. One person. I'm sorry, the lower level people. Love, you know that shit is like a brick wall. Up. You know that shit is a brick wall. You you take one and he gonna be like, well, look, no. this person above me did this, this, when this, this, the, this. When we had the savings and loan crisis when they had the, all, all the people money. Come on, Enron and all them yes. niggas. Oh, people did get locked they up. threw them down. Up. They threw them niggas down. That's but that's a, a different, different. different situation. That's a little different. This is for this is something that they are accustomed to and is, they like, and this is yeah, they don't want this to stop. It's it's. A lascivious and it's morally like stealing money is one thing, but, but kids, abusing children is something kids. completely different. And it makes you look you don't look at somebody who robbed a bank the same way you looked right. at somebody that's fucking kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's allegedly because here's two the different thing. things. This is, this, these are Russian tactics. What Putin does to his enemies is turns them against child yeah. porn on their computers. And whenever you just instantly mention kids, people get freaked out. And it take, that's how you take down enemies. This is way above no that. Proof. There's no proof. There, this is way Look above that. Actually, plane. this, no this, this, this is all conservative. It stems from WikiLeaks. It stems from WikiLeaks. It stems from when that Russia. happened. That's Russia. Snowden wound up in Russia, but he's from here. I know that nigga did wound up in Russia though. Every because they took him in. That nigga. They took him in. Think about that. They gave he, him asylum, but he was from here. That's the only place they took him in. He went somewhere else too. That on no other place would take. No, I mean, I, it was some other places that took them, but they all extradited them after a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but Russia's not. Russia's the right. only, yeah, Russia's the only place that took And we got all these problems going on with That's Russia right this now. I see what he's take, saying, but it's like, the facts, they still doing it. Is, but the facts, though. Is, you can't get the child porn stank off you. There's yeah. so many Once facts, though. Hey, yo, there was one part of it that really fucking blew my mind. Like, the guy that's like, that owns Comet Pizza... His name is James Alifantes. James. Oh, yeah, they broke down this nigga name and shit. James means I love, right? In French. Alifantes means infants. So you think his mother, his mother knew that's it. That's not his real that's name. That's not his real name. That's not his real name. That's no, really it's not. not his real name. That his real name is, his real name is something else. I forgot what they said his name is. He means that in what language? Um, in French, French and in, I think, Latin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his his real name. No, nah, he's, he's from he's here. American. His but real name he, is something else. He though. changed his name, so he sp- he he doesn't spell it like you know James. What? He spells it J A I M E S. He spells it like Samaj. You know, you know like <laughs> say somebody said, okay, Spunky did a sex crime, right? And they like, you know what Spunk is? <laughs> Spunk has <laughs> come. Oh my god! <laughs> she came all over the scene. <laughs> I see why you're saying that, but. <laughs> It's yeah, I need a name that means coming. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened. It's you know proven. I mean? I'm, I'm going. I need the most name that says just. The information that I've seen was Extra. enough for me to believe that this is real, especially in conjunction nah, with these well, goings on. I do believe that it is some white people out there doing some. Oh, they doing some real crazy shit. I mean, shit. we already know that sex yes. trafficking is a real thing. Absolutely, it's very Get real. Is real. So it's not that <laughs> far fetched. We it's. We don't know exactly the ins and outs, but it's not that far-fetched to think that it could be possible knowing that most of these people, and this is real facts that you can actually look up, have weird sexual past type crimes on their history. Yeah. A lot of which I'm are a lot pedophilic. Of like most a of them of have pedophile type act. So like, these are, it's, it's not coming from nowhere. You know what I mean? And it's not that far-fetched based on the type of past that these people have that they could be close to this sex trafficking ring that if it's heavy in D.C. After watching that Pizzagate thing and then seeing those articles and reports of all the girls missing and stuff like that, I heard somebody say, well, what happened to all of it before? Like, why is it just now coming to a light? Think about it. If you got people, if you got people that can literally take your news 
is right here and they move it over there and turn it into this milkshake, that's what they're going to do. They're going to take the dirty and they're going to clean it up and they're going to not even tell you about what the dirty is. They're just going to tell you, oh, what's a couple kids missing? Not too many. But they said within the first two months of this, around this time last year in D.C., 500 kids was gone. Yeah. This been, it's been happening actually for months? years. It's been going on That's for years. That's a lot years. of kids. It's a lot. That's a lot of but kids. He said it was, it's been hundreds of thousands, I think, of kids that have gone missing That's a lot in total of kids. since this all started. So it's just like, it's really yeah, fucking it's sick. Just keep a vigilant eye. That's all we're saying. Just, just keep, keep a your vigilant kids eye. close, yo. You see something, say something. Yeah, you go. This ain't no MTA bus, uh, bus <laughs> pitch, right? You ain't gonna see no dog or no one eye. Couple of things before we go to break. Just a couple of things. Um, apparently Barry Manilow came out of the closet. He's like, seven, what? He's like How seventy-three. How you go to commercial break on that? He's like seventy-three, but he's, he came out as gay. He said that he never. <laughs> apparently the headline was he didn't want to let his fans down, so I guess that's why he waited so long to come out. Why would they not know that he was Barry gay? Manilow, Don't all gay people love him? So, At the I didn't know. <laughs> I'm about to say, is that him? Ain't that his song? I don't know. He sings Mandy. Oh, he probably did sing. Oh, like, shit, he, he does. Sings he sings Ma Mandy. No, I think he sings Copacabana, too. He probably did. I don't know. Yeah. Undertaker retired at WrestleMania. That hurt this my weekend. heart, man. I was actually really sad that I couldn't see it. Well, that's yeah. apparently in tradition how they retire. They leave their clothes you in, leave the ring, in the ring. You leave in the ring. And then they leave. That's what they say is supposed to happen. He left like his, no, his, his hat, hat and that's what he walked in with. And something else, too. No, it was just his hat, his jacket. Oh, it was something else inside the jacket. He but it was it was like his essential stuff he took as everything. Undertaker. He took, when, he went back to, when he went up to Brad, he would raise his hand a couple of times. He stood up. Yeah, him. he was he out. He was leaving. He was that out. was it. Last hurrah. It's time. He came in. He came in in yeah, 1990. I was about yeah. to say, Undertaker was around. Shorty, right. what? He's I mean, old. He's yeah, yeah, like his body got, like, you ever seen the movie The Wrestler? Like, he what is wrestling. Oh like, God. when I think of wrestling, I think, like, I remember... No, All of I think it. Wrestling, he used to I think scare the fuck cold. out of me. I mean, I've been, but, but my, brother, the hell, yeah. my brother's always been a huge wrestling fan, so I've been watching wrestling essentially yeah. since I was like two, three. Like forever. he's been the one that stuck in it though. Like everybody else left. Did he used they to scare the hell out of me. My the brother Rock used to rock literally <laughs> left and became like one of the best actors that we have so, now, so, action wise. That's what no, I said. Actually, that was, that was, that was very. Won. That was a lot. No, I think, that was a lot. No, I think he got. I think he I, got wait, wait, that. No, no. <laughs> For real? No, I think he just fits well in acting movies. No. I, don't. I think he can do action movies, but that's it. You that's it. His show ballers. He be in a, it's like Scarface. Or like <laughs> nah. He can't be in no serious ballers drama. Is good, ballers though. is good. Ballers is really good. I've ballers never seen that. Ballers is real good. Like that show is real. I've never seen that one. And it's like. His role, he don't really play. He plays a football player, but he plays that football player he's that's trying still to help. Essentially, the rock though. It's the that, rock. Like, come on, yo. He's, he's just like he is. His exactly. Yeah. He's, just, just, he's the rock. So he don't like, really gotta. If, he's like Jennifer you, Hudson. She's always Effie. She's if always <laughs> Effie. If you want, even in Shirek, she was Effie. Everything. She's Effie everywhere. She's she was Effie on Empire. Shut up, yo. She, she was. was. <laughs> Effie's everywhere. She blows me every time she starts hey, to yo. fucking sing. Oh my oh, god. I hate it. <laughs> Can't Effie. stand her. <laughs> cool it, Effie. <laughs> And, and Tony Roma also is supposed to be retired as well. Oh, get rid of that mop. Niggas Take don't care Flacco about with you. Oh, yeah, he can take him with you too. He oh, sucks. I love my Ravens. Don't get me. Twisted. But he do I suck. Love... Flacco. Take Flacco. Flacco take, suck. Get rid of that nigga. Bring us somebody that can get us a couple rings, cause he got, us one. He got one. How much have we been paying that nigga? He, Wait, Romo, oh, uh, yeah, that's up, true. He fucks up a lot, though. Flacco is Flacco always, fucks up a whole lot. Eli, Plus, too, though. Eli, be killing, killing me. Because, you know, he, Giants on my team, Eli kills me, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but at least y'all can get to the bowl, and, like, y'all can get to the bowl, like. Yeah, because Eli, he has his moments, but he be killing but me. But y'all got a nice supporting background. Like, y'all got dope-ass receivers. Y'all yeah. got dope-ass line. Y'all got ill-ass corners. Yeah. And then, on top of that, y'all got some tough-hitting-ass linebackers. And y'all still lose. And y'all still lose. <laughs> y'all get to the bowl, but y'all lose. We, we do oh, what we can. We do what we can do. Okay, so. Whereas on the Ravens, we'll get like four players that's been here for like 10 years. We'll get these rookies, and now they got to clash and, and make it happen. It's like the replacements all over. <laughs> the replacements. It's just like the replacements. 
So um, apparently the That So Raven spinoff has been confirmed and it is really it. supposed to be happening. Is Eddie going to be is Orlando That's what Brown I really want to know. Booba, I... Booba, 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 booba. <laughs> that nigga. He t- I think oh he might God. be a little too crazy. Maybe that they're just going to write Eddie off, hopefully. It's a spinoff of That So Raven, so maybe they'll find what a way. What was the spinoff? Like her children or something I like have that. no idea, but she's going to be in it. It's the reason that she left The View, apparently, because she's going to be doing this spinoff. I'm sorry. I, I think that, I, I believe just... that the spinoff is supposed to be like two of her kids or something like that, and they discover they have um, psychic powers like she used to. So who's okay. the daddy? <laughs> was it Eddie? <laughs> is it Eddie? <laughs> Is he there? <laughs> Is he there? Mm, he's locked up. <laughs> he's somewhere smoking that mbop. Mm. <laughs> and apparently, Kylie Jenner came under fire for her Pepsi photo where she. Wait, what's up with this Pepsi stuff? It was she's a whole commercial. She's, it was, oh, yeah, a commercial. Was, yeah. Her Black Lives Matter. I haven't Matter, seen the commercial, something. but I know she's like handing a cop of Pepsi to end a riot or something the, like that. The, the commercial, I got to see it before they pulled it. I don't know if you can find it anywhere online now, but the commercial is, um, basically was. She's standing in this blonde wig and she's doing a photo shoot. And as she's doing a photo shoot, there's a protest of ambiguous protest with a lot of brown people Stop. in it, holding signs, and they're walking by and she's just casually doing this photo shoot. And she this guy looked at her like, you know you want to join us. And she went pulled her wig off and somehow had jeans on and she started following the crowd. And there was a line of police standing, and she walked up to the police officer, and she handed him a Pepsi. And he took it and cracked it and sipped it, and he looked at the other officers like, yeah, and everybody's cheering like, yeah, that's right, yo, we did it. Pepsi is ending racism. What the fuck? Like, I... It don't even make sense. It made absolutely no sense. Everything I just said sounded dumb as shit. I didn't even like saying it out loud. So... I don't understand the I understand uproar. The big uproar like, I don't understand it's the uproar. A gesture. It's trying to say, let's calm this shit down. Let's find something. Kylie Jenner, though. I know that to me. I, don't, I think it was a good gesture. I don't see what they I, I see where it. they were going with it. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm just saying. weird. It, how it was weird. It was a. It was it's weird as shit. It's a, it was implemented wrong. You said the same thing when Mary J. Blige was singing about chicken. No, that's yes. <laughs> yes. We said the same <laughs> thing. But that was horrible. <laughs> no, it was that. We said no, the same thing. It was new chicken wraps. It's crazy how it comes out. She just went, hey, because it's new chicken wraps. <laughs> it's like in the microphone feedbacks and everything when she says it. And it's just so awkward. And then all of a sudden she's singing crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, great dressing, the three cheeses <laughs> wrapped up <laughs> in the... <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> she knows it. So, wait, I'm going to tell you why I know the words. There's a guy named Duran Bernar that is an amazing singer. Apparently used to be one of Erica Badu's background singers. He remade that song. Stop. Oh, my God. And, like, very elaborately I did hear, I did hear that. made it into a song. And it's very good. Like, he killed it. It's like, <laughs> so that's why I know the words. But it's like, that her shit was horrible. I, I, I actually did like those crispy wraps. They were pretty good. Did you ever have one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, know. I, yeah, I, I wasn't feeding into that propaganda, my sister, because I'm woke. <laughs> I don't agree that she should be under fire for all that, but, yeah, it was a bit weird to me. <laughs> However, we are going to take our break. RadioOnFire.com, your news, sports, and entertainment source. We'll be back after this commercial break. Did it oh, right that time. Before you, before you do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, I'm listening. Uh oh. Okay. 